They told me he was washed. They told me he didn't have it anymore. They told me he lost a step. Well, it sure didn't look like it on Sunday because Derrick Henry ran all over the Cowboys, had 151 rushing yards, averaged six yards in attempt. Let's look at the film to see some of his most explosive plays against Dallas. All right, this first play here, this is just going to be inside zone read. Lamar is going to read 94. If he crashes, Lamar is going to take this thing outside. If he stays, he's going to hand it off to King Henry, which he does. Okay. And I like this because if this guy does crash and Lamar decides to pull it, we're arch releasing this tight end here outside. What is arch release? We're leaving this guy alone. The tight end is not going to touch this guy. He's going to outside release and look to be a potential lead blocker for Lamar. But again, that doesn't happen because defensive end stays home and it's just inside zone blocking all the way through and through. And, you know, to start things off, we have a numbers advantage in the box anyway, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we know either one of these guys can carry the ball. So really seven guys versus one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy's out of the box. So seven on six, you have a numbers advantage right away as it is. And again, this defensive end, he's going to stay home. So boom, we hand this thing off. And I mean, look, we got our offensive line just destroying guys all the way through. Center does a really nice job on number 93 here. We get the double team here on 97. Again, tight end leaves this guy alone to potentially block for Lamar. Right tackle does his job. Good climb to the second level by the center here. And what I like most about this is King Henry pressing his blocks and not making this cut until the very last second. So boom, run through that open hole, press it, press it, boom, then make a cut outside get a few more yards keep those legs churning nice game next play here we're going to get a little pin and pull sweep okay i like it sweep read again lamar is a run threat so why not run why not run the read right put the defenders in his most in the most conflict that you can put them in we're reading michael parsons again same thing as earlier if he crashes lamar's going to take this thing out if not if he stays home which he does we're handing this thing off to king henry on the pin and pull sweep okay blocking we're blocking down we're blocking down pulling pulling outside zone blocking and it works perfectly press play i mean great job here by the backside guard reaching 93 joseph we got the down blocks from the tight end on 94 sealing that edge edge sealed two humongous individuals leading the way for another humongous individual follows the blockers boom again get out of my way toss him to the side get out of my way parsons drag him for 35 more yards not really 35 more yards but you know you get the point again another explosive run from king henry who they told me was washed this time this is smash mouth football it looks to be duo and on duo, you want to create a bunch of double teams, but because the Cowboys have all these guys walked up, it doesn't create a whole lot, right? And what duo is, you're going to read this guy right here. If he comes down here, we're usually going to bounce this thing outside, but because all of these guys from this side are able to get through the line of scrimmage, Derrick Henry, being the savvy veteran he is, he cuts it back. He cuts this thing backside, okay? Press play here, boom, okay. Our entire right side of our offensive lineman, Got beat, no problem. Look at this backside lane here. And again, a lot of people on duo don't pay a lot of attention to this backside tackle, but it is so important for when things like this happen, right? When that backside lane opens up and that running back is going to um, hit it, he's got to make sure he's holding that backside. Really nice job by the, what is it? The left guard as well, sealing that off as well. Boom, nice job again. Get out of my, oh my God. Oh my God, boom, look at that. Put that poster on your wall. Can't be stopped. Next play here, this looks to be mid zone. Okay, and this is just not ideal defense from the Dallas Cowboys. We cannot have this humongous bubble right here. We gotta put somebody else on the line of scrimmage. I know you got this, this wall built back here, but I don't care, it does nothing. Do you know who this guy is? Do you know who he is and what he has done? Do you know him? That guy will pop you in the mouth too. Okay. 
again, mid zone to the left, but the cutback opens up. And gee, I wonder why a cutback lane back here opens up. Could it be because pre-snap you got a bubble the size of a whale right here? I don't know. Tight end does a really nice job on Micah Parsons right here as well. Left guard, left tackle. Good, good double team from the center and the left guard here. Moving to the second level. Or excuse me, that'd be the center. Is that the center? Yeah, the center and right guard on the double team. And then the right tackle climbing to the second level. Boom, sealing him off. Just good blocking paired with Derrick Henry. Again, I like Henry, how he presses this thing front side until the very last second. We're pressing it, we're pressing it, we're pressing it. Boom, now we make our cut back side. Get through there, get skinny. Again, keep those legs moving. One, oh, come on, number six. Come on, number six. What, you, is that really going to bring Derrick Henry down, man? Come on, bro. Touchdown. Last play we'll look at here. Again, remember that thing they ran earlier? Duo. 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 My favorite run concept. Why is it my favorite run concept? Well, because it is basically the second based or the second best, excuse me, run concept, in my opinion, without the puller. Duo is power without the puller. It creates so many advantageous angles for the running back to possibly hit. Now, double team, solo, backside, cut off hinge whatever you want to call it down block all these guys are sealing walling this off because in a perfect world remember we're reading the mic who they probably declare as 50 in this situation we're reading him if he comes through the middle we're gonna bounce it outside which was what happens if he comes outside we're gonna hit this thing straight up the gap straight up the middle we'll see what exactly happens boom yeah so check it out number 50 what does he do let's watch him oh oh we're hitting it up the middle see that gap right here he got washed away anyway he probably could hit this thing either way but he read the thing correctly he crashed down we take it outside Trevon Diggs luckily he's there to limit this somewhat but again another explosive run from a guy in Derrick Henry who many thought was done. Many thought Derrick Henry could not get the job done anymore. But he did. And let me tell you, if the Ravens can recreate this performance, look out. I know they started 0-2. They're 1-2 now. But if they get King Henry going, and then they also have the threat of Lamar on the ground, it could get ugly for some teams. It really could. Great job. Derrick Henry, he's back. I don't know if he is totally what he once was. Probably not, right? But he is still dangerous, as you can see. Now, I know it's the Dallas Cowboys blocking, or excuse me, Dallas Cowboys defense. They haven't looked good this year, but I don't care. I mean, let's just look at everybody. Get like five yards off the line of scrimmage here almost. Where's the ball here? Ball, okay, boom. I mean, look where these defensive linemen end up pushed all the way back to their almost their own end zone. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Peace.